Hi, I'm Shane Croucher of International Business Times UK and I've come to West London to just buy St James's Palace to the Brewerstone restaurant to speak to its owner, Joel Kissin. So hi Joel, thank you very much for joining us. Um, tell us a bit about who and what inspired you to create this restaurant. Uh, Xavier Marcel Boulestan was a huge figure in the food industry uh, in this country. He started um, a wonderful restaurant in 1927 called Boulestan, but more importantly he uh, wrote some wonderful cookbooks which were hugely influential on people like Elizabeth David and many other food writers. And I found him incredibly inspiring and this is not a, a copy of his restaurant, but this is very inspired particularly by him and by his books. Mm -hmm. What is it about him that you like so much? Well, uh, I, I had wondered what had happened to the original Bulasan, and I started investigating it and discovered that nobody owned the name anymore, so I registered it. And then I started doing some research on, on the man and discovered that his food was actually very of today. I won't use the word contemporary because it's not contemporary in the same way as... as uh, the sort of food that Ferry and Adria is doing, for example, but it was very muscular, simple French food. And it, um, I was just so excited by it because I, it was full of dishes that I wanted to eat. Mm -hmm. And now you've opened, who are you hoping to woo through your doors? Because uh, where you're based, in Green Park, or near Green Park rather, you've got some interesting neighbours, the royal family, all the ambassadors. So who are you hoping to get in through the door? Well, or who will be getting already? Uh, <laughs> well, we're just getting already, indeed. Uh, uh, you, you know, this is, I don't like exclusive restaurants, and this is not inti intended to be an exclusive restaurant at all. I'm hoping to get everybody, really. Uh, but sure, if we get the, uh, the right uh, figures from the area, that would be fantastic, too. And why choose to open kind of a high-end restaurant now, given the wider economic problems that we, we've seen? Well, I think there's always, it is high-end, but it's high-end bistros, so... Uh, yes, it's not uh, £8 uh, uh, for a main course here, but well, actually our main courses in the cafe do start at £9.50, so it's high end in terms of quality, but the prices, and the prices do go up to quite high prices, but we start very low. So certainly in the restaurant you can get dishes starting at £14.50 for a main course, which I don't think it would be particularly considered expensive these days. And you've um, got a lot of experience in the London restaurant scene, so, and you've chosen to set up in London again. Um, how does London fare in the global culinary world against people, uh, cities like Paris or New York? Well, uh, Paris is very different in so far as it's got a lot of French restaurants in it. Um, and of course it has others as well. Um, in New York it's very like London in so far as it has a huge array of different t styles and types of restaurants. But I think London is, is just as exciting as, as New York these days in terms of design, in terms of food that is coming out of restaurants, in terms of the vibrancy of the whole industry. So tell me a bit about the food that you're serving here. What, what have you got on the menu? What's your favourite dish? Uh, probably starter au fond gelé, uh, which is a poached egg in uh, aspic. And it's quite an old fashioned dish, but when you cut into the, into the egg, it just sort of floods the whole jelly with the egg yolk. And it's absolutely delicious. There's another egg dish actually called au fond marette, which is a hot dish. First one is cold. Main courses are there's a wonderful dough of beef which I love, uh, uh, which I really like a lot. There's um, a terrific pigeon dish. Um, actually, there's so many it's difficult for me to choose a favourite really. And when you were decorating the restaurant, what ideas did you have in mind? What, what, what kind of style? What theme were you going for? Well, I wanted it to look as if it had been here for a long time, and I think we've achieved that. It doesn't look like it was just built uh, yesterday. Um, and in terms of the uh, art on the walls, these are by a, uh, an artist, or in the style of, if you like, of an artist called Jean-Emile uh, Laboureur, who was the gentleman who illustrated most of Boulestan's books. And so uh, there's a sort of feel about them that matches the books, which I think works very well indeed. So it's Boulestan everywhere, from the food to the walls, you know, to the feel of the restaurant. So you try to get his personality in all spheres. I think I did, and I think we've succeeded in doing that. Mm -hmm. And do you have any other plans um, in London, in the works? Obviously, you've only just opened this <laughs> this, and you're going to be concentrating on this, but have you got any other ideas in your mind about where, where you want to go in London? Well, I've always got ideas, but uh, I would be foolhardy to speculate at the moment. Let's get this one up and running and successful first before I even consider doing something else. But uh, yes, if this were to be very successful, then I would probably want to do more. Thank you very much for your time, Joe. Appreciate it.